How to remove encryption from your Redmi K20 Pro or the Xiaomi Mi 90 Pro. If you haven't already subscribed make sure you subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to get notified of new videos hey peeps what's up manji here back with another video and in this video i'm going to show you how you can remove encryption from your redmi k20 pro or the xiaomi mi 90 pro as you can see i do have the redmi k20 pro running mi ui 11.0.1.0 based on android 10. now the million dollar question will be why do we want to remove encryption from our Redmi K20 Pro or the Xiaomi Mi 90 Pro? Well, those of us who flash custom ROMs and are flashaholics, we don't want to run into any encryption issues because in that case, we have to do a format data from to up recovery. And to avoid all these issues, I personally prefer a device which is not encrypted. Now, how do you know whether your device is encrypted or not? On MIUI, you have to go into settings and then you will go into password and security and privacy and you will see that in encryption and credentials it mentions that the device is encrypted which means right now my mi 90 pro or the redmi k20 pro is encrypted which means the data partition is encrypted now what are the prerequisites for this video the prerequisite for this process is that you need to have to up recovery installed on your redmi k20 pro or the Xiaomi Mi 90 Pro. How do you install to up recovery on your device? I have a separate video for that, which is linked in the description of this video, and it will also pop up as a card on the top right of your screen. What are the files which we need? All the files which you need are also linked in the description of this video, and these are the files which you need. You need the Magisk zip file, and you need the disabled DM Verity Force Encrypt zip file. A fair piece of warning we will have to do a format data from to up recovery. So you are going to lose all your pictures, videos, and anything important which you have on your device. So make sure you have a backup of all those things. First thing you need to do is you'll go into settings and password and security and remove your password, fingerprint unlock, and face unlock. Next, you'll go back and then you can go into me account and remove your me account. Once that is done, you'll go into accounts and sync and remove your Google account. Once you have removed all the accounts and security measures, you need to reboot your device once just to make sure that all the accounts and security measures have been removed successfully why are we removing all the accounts and security measures we are removing them because we are going to do a format data which is as good as a factory reset and if you do not remove these accounts and security measures once your phone reboots you'll have to log back in into the same accounts it's just a painful process which we are trying to avoid next thing you need to do is boot your device into to up recovery for that the first thing you need to do is turn off your device once your phone has turned off you need to press and hold volume up and power button at the same time till you see the to up recovery boot logo once we are in to up recovery you need to click on install and now you need to navigate to the folder where you have downloaded the zip files in my case they are in the root directory if you downloaded the files on your phone directly they will be in the download folder the first file which we need to flash is the disable dm verity force encrypt zip file select the file and then swipe to confirm flash once that is done we need to click on the home button and then you will click on reboot and then select recovery back into to up recovery we will click on install and the next file which you need to flash is the magisk zip file select the file and then swipe to confirm flash once that is done we will click on the home button and now you need to go into wipe select format data type in yes and then click on the check mark button on the bottom right of the keyboard do note this is where you are wiping out all your pictures videos and anything important which you have on your device so again make sure you have a backup of all these things once the process has finished successfully click on reboot system and of course we did a factory reset of our redmi k20 pro so the first boot up is going to take some time and you have to be patient and there it is peeps we do have the miui 11 welcome screen let me skip the setup real quick back on the home screen we can now go into settings and about phone and you can see that we are still running miui 11 global stable version 11.0.1.0 based on android 10 and now if we go into password and security and then into privacy you will see that encryption and credentials says that the phone is not encrypted so there it is peeps that is how you 
remove encryption from your Redmi K20 Pro or the Xiaomi Mi 90 Pro. And that will do it for this video peeps. I hope my video helped you. Likes, shares and subscribes are appreciated. Feedback and comment more than welcome. See you when I see you.